You know, people talk about unity. We talk about unity. You know, we say, yeah, you know, what is unity? What? My brother, let me tell you something honestly and please give me your heart. If you think that unity is all praying in the one masjid, following the one madhab, praying behind the one sheikh, all of us holding hands at the end singing Kumbaya, you got a whole thing coming. Unity in the Ummah is when I love my brother regardless. Regardless what Sheikh he follows, regardless what Madhab he follows, regardless whether he follows mood sighting or calculations, I couldn't care less. I love him because of the Karima of La ilaha illallah in his heart. And that bond has made us brothers for life. And I cry for him. I plead for him. I pray for him. Allah guide us man, guide us, guide the Ummah of Muhammad, bring us back. Bring us back. Today we're so caught up with our differences. Brother, have you, got the, have you forgotten the one million things we have in common? Have you honestly forgotten? We're so caught up in these trivial things. You know, Abu Bakr and Umar the best friends of Rasulullah, the best, number two in Islam, right? They differed on almost every single, on every matter, they almost had a difference of opinion. And we're not talking, you know, should we paint the masjid red or white? We're not talking, you know, look, what's your opinion? We're talking chalk and cheese. After the battle of Badr, there was captives of war. So Rasulullah he didn't know what to do with them. So he called his Sahaba. He says, what do we do? So everyone gave his opinion. So he comes to his beloved Abu Bakr. He says to Abu Bakr, Abu Bakr, what do you think we should do with the captives of war? He says to the Prophet of Allah, here's what I think we should do. Islam is new, Islam is weak, Islam is fresh. And these people, we know them, their family. How about we ransom them? We sell them back to the people of uh, Mecca. We sell them back and use that money to strengthen Islam and strengthen the army. Nice opinion. True? So he looks over to Umar He says, oh, Umar, what do you think? He says, a oh, Prophet of Allah, give the cousin of Ali to Ali and give the cousin of Umar to Umar and let Ali and Umar slaughter his own cousin with his own hands. And let it be known to the world and let it be known to the people of Mecca and let it be known to Allah that nothing will ever stand between us and Allah. These are, these are opinions. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he went with the opinion of Abu Bakr. The next day, Umar radiallahu he's coming to see his Habib. He finds Abu Bakr and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam crying. So he says to them, what's happening? Why are you crying? Tell me so I can cry. Rasulullah says to Umar radiallahu he says, we were wrong. And Allah agreed with your opinion. Allah, not, not. He says, Allah brought down Quran to agree with you, Ya Umar. What did he do? I told you, brother, we're on the haq Is that what he did? He started crying. He started to cry. My brothers, we are billions, man. We are what? 1.6, 1.7 billion. We've all got an opinion, man. We all have an opinion. But we are one ummah. Who follow one prophet. Who have one Qibla. Who read one Quran. Who worship one Allah. La ilaha 